chatpdf.com. You can drop your PDF here and then you can ask this PDF some questions. So they say it's for students to enhance your learning experience from chat PDF, comprehend textbooks, handouts and presentations effortlessly, don't spend hours flipping through research papers and academic articles. For work, efficiently analyze your documents from financials and sales reports to projects and business proposals, training manuals and legal contracts. Chat PDF can quickly provide you with the information needed. And for curious minds, unlock a wealth of knowledge with Chat PDF. Discover new insights and answers from its historical documents, poetry, literature effortlessly. That is brilliant. Let's drop a PDF document in here and see what it can do for us. Let's start with a report. This is a guideline that we've written. And it wants me to sign in to save my history. We can easily do that. Click on say, sign in. And here it has already analyzed it and it gives me some example questions. Now I'm going to use one of these example questions just because it seems quite easy to do. Or you can just click on this little arrow. So it gave me an answer. Can you provide more information about the research output summary? Now that is interesting. Certainly, the research output summary can be found on page two of this guide. That is indeed true. It includes information on data, research tools, and intellectual property. For more detailed information on each of these topics, please refer to the corresponding sections on page seven and eight. And that's also true. How amazing. Let's try another one. How can I ensure that my data is being managed and shared in an ethical and responsible manner? And again, here yeah, it refers to the specific section in the document and there's really such a section and it gave a lovely answer. So of course you can come up with your own questions as well. Let's say, are there any ethics in this document? There are mentions of ethics in this document on page 19. And it again summarizes all of it. How amazing. In this example, I dropped a data management and sharing guide and I asked it some questions. Let's have a look if we find an article and we put the article in here. And we're starting a new chat now. There was a space here to drop the PDF. Let's see what it comes up with. Now, this is a scientific article. Well, if you'd it's all the base bowling systematic review, and it even gives me some suggestions once again. So again, I can come up with my own questions, or I can just click on one of these and see what it gives me. And it gives me a brilliant summary of what it came up with and where I can find it. It's, ask, it's a systematic review. Let's ask it how many articles were included in this systematic review. See if it can do that. It's not mentioned. That's very interesting because um, this is a systematic review and it should be mentioned. Let's try another example. What recommendations strategies? And brilliant, it even comes up with some recommendations. So this is quite nice to learn more from articles. But again, I would definitely use my own personal discretion. And um, for example, we've seen here that an accurate answer is not always provided. And that's how it goes with these AI tools. Uh, it definitely needs a human eye, but it's definitely useful to learn a lot from, in this case, PDF documents and articles. If you found this video helpful, smash the like button. For more useful tips to boost your research experience, subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button below this video. And while you're at it, hit the bell so that you get notified whenever I produce a new video. If you need a solution to a challenge not yet covered on my channel, leave a comment in the box below. See you in the next video.